What's going on everybody? I'm Alex Knight and welcome to more of Hyperdimension Neptunia Rebirth 3 and in the last episode This this lady here has been a, a very very bad girl um, And we survived Su Surprisingly like the last two episodes now I wanted to do something a little different for that episode since that one was a like recorded for an hour long so I decided to set it up in a way where it's like an anime episode. It's like, tune in next time, or we'll be right back after these messages from our sponsors. Anyways, I think I'm going to switch to Neptune for a second, and we're going to have her be the leader. And right now we're going to go... We're going to go back to Planet Tune. Are you ready, Nappy? Oh god. Wait, it's Plutia now? The, the, the time has come, huh? It's going to happen. Plutie, take me away! Here I come, Nappy. You sure do look adorable right now. Oh, oh, oh. Um. Uh, uh, let me just, yeah, put that on the screen right there. Oh, okay. You don't look with your hands, my good buddy. It's embarrassing. Be gentle and don't pinch me, okay? Okay. I promise. Wowie. You've got such pretty and smooth skin. Oh, God. This is... This is... Oh! Oh, God. This is going way worse than I expected. This is too early. Well, leather, rinse, and repeat my expectations, Pluty. You're like a washing pro. Scrub me down real good, and I'll add my soul to our deal. Uh, what kind of creepy atmosphere are you two trying to create? Huh? What did I say that was so weird? I know, but in noir, this is what people want to see, I guess. So let the imaginating commence. Uh, YouTube doesn't want to see this, I'm telling you right now. I I'm gonna get flat for the. Um, okay. You make it sound like a battle or something. It's so embarrassing to listen to you two back here. Embarrassing, huh? <laughs> In that case, what kind of scenario was coming to your soapy clean mind? What? It's not like I... Come on, come on, don't be shy. To tell you, good pal. Nep, nep. Well? Why, you... If you don't knock it off, I'm going to smack you. Owie, Nora, you're getting worked up and scrubbing my back too hard. What? Oh, sorry. Boo. Better do it right, because you promised to scrub me sparkling clean. I said I'm sorry. Honestly, I should be happy that this is all you've asked of us. Ain't that the truth? Pluty's eyes were like a slobbering wolf or whatever back there. I really thought she was going to get up all under my duds and stuff. She is under your duds! Aw, oh, I wouldn't do that. Okay, Nappy. Do the wave. Lift up your arms. Huh? Okay. Wee! <laughs> Yay, armpit scrubbing time. Why would you get so excited over it scrubbing armpits? What? I... <laughs> that tickles. <laughs> oh boy. Stop flailing like a caged animal. Let's try to have a normal bath. <laughs> now my sides hurt. I'm good, Pluty. Let's team up and give Noir a nice scrubbing, okay? Oh, that sounds fun. Face the other way, Noir. Um, no thanks. I'm fine. If I turn my back to you two, I have no idea what'll happen to me. She is smart! Ah, come on. No need for modesty in the batherino. But who speaks like this? Okay, Pluty, you fly in from the right. Ready? Attack! Whee! Yikes, stop it, you little brats. Ah, Neptune, what did you just grab? Yes, yes, please relax, dear customer. 
We give you good, happy bath. What? Was that? Was that a race? Was that racist? <laughs> Why she speaks like that? Like broken English. Well, Mickey, sparkle, sparkle. Yeah, stop it! I can't take this. Ah! Oh God, we're off. We're off to a great start for this episode. That was pretty much a blast. Taking a group bath is good times. Uh huh. Let's do it tomorrow too. No. <laughs> There's no way I'll ever get in the bath with you two again. Neptune, Neptune, do my mini ears hear mini isty? Huh? I thought she froze. She said she wouldn't be able to move or speak until she connected with the other. No way. I did it! A connection with the other dimension has been established. Please hurry over here. Uh, hang on a second. Excuse me, I had to blow my nose. Yeah! Here I come, ready or not. Are we gonna get a, a, a talk from the future? You're connected, right, Mini Isty? Where is she? Where's my Histy? Please calm down, I'm bringing up the video feed. Whoa! It's Histy! Hey! That's your Histy? It's hard to tell if she's big or not from the video. I can't believe it. She wasn't making it up. Yo! Histy! Can you see me? It's -a me! Neptune! <laughs> it's far from there. Yes, there is no mistaking you, Neptune. To think that you had been sent to another dimension. You think you're surprised? You know how I can get back, right? Well, about that... Neptune! Neptune, is that you? Huh? That sounds like... Please, Nepgear, we are attempting to hold a very serious conversation right now. Let me see her. I want to talk to my big sister. But wait, no. Do not push your face so close to that. Oh, goodness, it really is you. What's up, Nip Junior? Good to see you. How's the things? How's the things? Oh. That girl looks like an older, smarter nappy. So why did she ask for her big sister? Um, no matter what lens you look at it through, Neptune is the younger of the two. Hey, this is my touching reunion scene, so I want quiet from the bleachers. We get that a lot, though. You disappeared so suddenly, I've been worried sick. Ah, uh, Nip Jr., she's just been so, so concerned for her sister. But like a good sister should. I thought you'd left me again. Hey, plug that leaky eye plumbing. I'm fine, and I'll be home real soon. Okay. I'm sorry. If I'd gone out working with you that day, this wouldn't have happened. Excuse me, Nepgear. I hate to interrupt you, but... Hey, Nepgear, why are you hugging all the fun? Well, I'm talking to my big sister right now, so... With Neptune? So she's actually in another dimension? Oh, God, what is Uni doing here? I want to look, too. Oh, hi, Rom. Hello. Yeah, but me first. But not you. Get out of here. Nobody wants you. A everyone, um... Do not crown me all at once. Ooh. <laughs> Yay! Neptune, can you see me? That's another dimension? Wow. Oh, I just realized that, Ro that Rom and Plody are basically the same person. <laughs> it looks kind of strange to me. Wait, is that my big sister? Is she that dimension's version of... But please wait, everyone. I'm still talking to Neptune. Bring us back really nice souvenirs, like buckets of yummy kitty candy. I'd like a picture book. If I go over there, would I get to have two big sisters? Stop pushing against me. There's not enough room. Everyone, enough is enough. Ah! Oops. Uh, the video feed is going a tad choppy. One minute while I buffer. Up! 
tampering. Well, a connection error. Many SDU better not 404 us. Yours looks like a pretty lively dimension, to say the least. Nappy, you're so popular. I managed to lock them inside a different room. Oh, hi. Don't hang up on us again. My heart skipped a hop. That was no fault of mine. Nipgear and her friends were interfering. That aside, let us discuss the matter at hand. I'm getting you home. Oh god, I'm gonna need to get some water because... I am... Arched! Ugh, one second! Water! Ugh. Okay, that's good. I am back. Just needed to get some water to help parch my lack of saliva, because I was thirsty. Okay. I hope you guys appreciate this. Well, I am uncertain at this time. Dun dun dun! That's not gonna fly. You even made me use that crazy melodramatic noise from years ago. But there is nothing to be done. I only recently learned that you arrived in another dimension. But it's your jobby job to do something about it, right? It's cool. Even if you cheat a bit, nobody will bat an eye because you're histy, my ex machina. Do not demand such things of me. I'll research and then contact you once I find a solution. Farewell. Well, come, come on! Histy, don't run away from your responsibility, buddy! Oh, she ended the call. She whiz the one time I need her, and she's completely useless. <coughs> Even though you are upset at the other me, I feel like I am the one being insulted. You are asking too much of her. Isn't it enough that you were able to set establish one another's safety? Cheer up, Nappy. <laughs> What's with the chortle, Plutie? Well, if you're not going home yet, we can keep playing together. So, I'm happy. Jeez, you just smacked me with the blunt end of a reality stick like it wasn't a big deal at all. Oh, well. I'm having fun hanging out with you and pseudo-noir, too. I'm gonna say this now, but I'm not going to be able to sh- But I'm not going to be sh be able to shower you with my attention. I'm finally a CPU. So, I need to hurry up and found my own nation. Well, okay. But, now that I'm only gonna steal your only friend away while you're gone... I'll cut out your spli- I mean... Whatever, it's not like I only have one friend or anything. That's right. Nippy is your friend, too. G the no, we're not. Pfft. Leave it up, pretty to make you sound like a buffoonalo. B buff buffoonalo? Uh, uh, okay. Sh shut up! But hey, since this is how things are gonna be for a while, let's have more fun, Pluty. Etch and sketch! Yay, let's play forever. I don't know about forever. Um, I'm sorry, what? Wait, wait, what is this? Huh? Hold on, I need a drink. <laughs> mm. 
Nep Station? Howdy, folks. This is a new program that offers scintillating info and will please players far and wide. And this program is called Nep Station. Um, this program is... Um, what is it about again? <coughs> Come on, Plurty. Don't add bloopers to our first episode. Can someone get her cue cards ready, please? Here they are. Plurty, uh, try to read along. Okay, thanks. Wait, where is Iswar? Thank you, Assistant Director Isti, or Assistity, Assistity, for short. Please do not force, please do not force such a nickname onto me. Why must I do this in the first place? Um, uh, this program is to deliver timely news. During um chapter breaks within the story. Oh God, is this a cha is this a refresh? What? From now on, Basilicom TVs will start to air lots of neat segments like news broadcasts and home shopping junk. Don't miss out on any of it. Wow, you pushed through it. That's it for today. I was your awesome host Neptune, and I was your awesome co-host Plutia. Until next time, one last thing, the us on this program have nothing to do with the us in the main game. Thanks for understanding. Please understand. <laughs> oh, that's it? Oh, chapter one was done. Oh, I could have, I could have went on for a little longer. Oh, well. Do I start talking now? I'm just going to go, okay? Um, hello. It's been about, um, three years since Nippy came to my dimension, I think. Noir made her own nation and is working so hard to make it super cool. But because of her, Louise's shares have gone splat and the two nations aren't friends. Oh, Planetune is the same as ever. That's, um, my last key card. I, so, did I do good, Nappy? You're not narrator material. Nope, nope. Aw, oh, I was so confident. <laughs> you tr crush her hopes and dreams, why don't you? And with that, let's play on. Within Louise Basilicom. Wait, this is Louise Basilicom? This doesn't look like this. I don't remember it looking like Pardon this. Me, Lady Blonde. I have compiled my report. Oh, hello, Torbjorn. It's it's good to see you. Hard work pays off. Oh, good work. A blog? I could give it a quick summary. It would seem last station is in a state of exponential growth. It would be accurate to call it a true explosion of activity. That much, huh? True explosion! Yeah. Indeed. Those outside of Louis who showed no interest in CPUs or games are migrating there. Which would not be an issue were that the only outcome. But... It's fine. Just say. Uh, yes. Well... A not insignificant number of Luwians have chosen to move to Last Station as well. It may have been rash for us to approve free immigration into and out of our nation. Whatever. People have been whining about only being able to play our games while living here. Until recently, Louis was the only CPU-led nation on this continent. Only we could give them peace of mind. Since we are no longer alone, the people seek a new paradise. Ugh, faith is such a fickle concept. <clears throat> Do you not intend to take action, Lady Blonde? I wish you would show some sign of concern. She's but she's soulless, don't you know? You, we will lose Louise's long-standing superior position for good. Minister. Yes, Lady Blonde. No matter your command, I shall obey without question. Shut up. You talk too much. Ooh. My pardons. But if you just review the report I compiled, you will understand my worries. With that said, excuse me. Not like I'm sitting around doing nothing. Not like I don't plan to do something about it. Hey guys, it's Alex Stein here. I'm sorry to do this in the middle of the stream. This is a one-time thing. But... Uh, a little announcement real quick, I am getting back into doing Twitch streaming, 
because it is something I do personally enjoy. I feel a lot more comfortable being in an, an unorganized uh, environment where I just talk my head off. Even though I really do that in the actual videos themselves, I am personally more interested in being able to uh, being being able to interact with whoever uh, likes being able to watch them and as something a little special to get myself back into streaming I am going to be doing a very special uh, let's play happening on Tuesdays and Thursdays specifically near Automata so be sure to tune in uh, www.twitch.tv slash alex991 for streaming Neo Automata at 7 p.m. CDT on Tuesdays and Thursdays and as well as other content showing up on other uh, 7 p.m. streams around that time so thank you all so much for uh, listening now back to your regularly scheduled programming what is she going to do about it Meanwhile, at Planet Tunes with Silicon, it's a bright, sunshiny day. It's even awesome indoors. Uh huh. When it's this warm, I feel like taking a nap. Then do, please. Don't be silly. You're sleepy, no matter the weather, silly pants. Nah, -uh. I can tell you're sleepy too. I can't help it. The weather's so perfect for log sign. I agree. Let's take a really long nap. Instant sleep coma! Oh, oh, okay. Uh, I, I wasn't expecting this already. <coughs> Why in game industry are you two sleeping right now? Ah, my wake up alarm! That was so cruel, Hasty. Don't yell around napping people. I'm going to yell because this nation has two CPUs who do nothing but slack off every day. You simply must begin to tackle your workloads. I know, but look outside. The weather's too nice to do stuff. Ah! No! Fuck! Uh, napping is the best choice. Instant sleep, come again. Do not fall asleep in the middle of my lecture. The two of you ought to learn from ought to go learn from Noir. Noir? I guess we haven't seen her for a while. She's too busy. She became a CPU and made her own nation. You know, um, what's it called? No! 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 Stop! No! Stop! Last something? It sounded like lactation. Oh. <laughs> Wouldn't, wouldn't that be something? <laughs> oh, last rebellion. Last station. Oh, yep, that's the ticket. Noir is such a workaholic, huh? She can't make any friends because she loves working too much. Oh, is that why? It must be lonely to not have any friends. Her work ethic is what makes her a grand CPU. You two really should learn from her example. Bah, don't be a pissy, mini isty. Don't get wrinkles under that on that teeny tiny cutesy wootsy face. That's right, Isty. You're so cute. Flattery will get you nowhere. This station has enough shares to be a threat to Louis. <laughs> Even though Planetune is home to two CPUs, we why do you keep praising Noir? There's nothing we can do about it. My Isty told me to sit tight until she thinks up a way to get me home. Well, that is true. But waiting patiently and doing nothing are, at all are, are different. <sighs> she hasn't given us a ring a ling for years. If we try to call her, it won't connect. Well, connecting to a different dimension is a bit more difficult than a long distance call. Even at maximum processing output, it takes me approximately three days to establish a connection. What do you want me to do about it? Mini SDMI SDR to blame. It's a double histy fail. 
Uh, it may be partially my fault, but that does not mean you may nap each and every day. Oh boy, if only Mini Isti could get in touch with my Isti, maybe I, maybe then I could work hard. Oh well. Uh oh, Nappy, she's vibrating with rage. It's just so annoying that Mini Isti is a junky old model that sucks so hard at computing things. In my world, Mi Mini Isti would be less awesome than a calculator. Junksty. Oh, she is snapping! Oh, what a scary noise! Uh, who are you calling Junksty? I, I, I dare you to say it again! Deep fried HDMI cables, Histy, has evolved into Pisty! That's so mean! Isty has a complex about her low processing power. Really? Did I accidentally grind her teeny tiny gears? You are merely passing the blame onto me so that you can slack off, are you not? In Plutia, you are slacking off without offering any kind of excuse. Whoa, she's really mad. Don't pop your top, Pisty. <laughs> Pisty. <laughs> I think I might have to change my Twitter handle to Pisty. Excuse me, I had to drink. That made me imagine her head flying off like a rocket. Ain't no time for goofy jokes, bud. You will not receive any lax treatment from me today. Go and learn from Noir. Get to last station this instant and see what it means to do the work of a CPU. <coughs> Man, Noir's our teacher now. That makes my stomach feel weird. I got my pride, you know. Ah, yay, Noir. It'll be fun to see her again. But her nation is so far away, and I'm so sleepy. You are still saying such lazy things. I probably should give her like a like a like a chibi voice or something like that. I don't know. Oh, that's one angry emote. Characters designed to be cute shouldn't be shouldn't make that scary face. Actually, what was it like? Oh, okay. Well, I want to see you happy. Give us a big smile. My facial expressions are not your concern right now. Get over to last station. No. <laughs> Whoa. No. <laughs> Owie, I fell on my bum. I can't believe she tossed us both out here. She's like a tuxedo-clad bouncer when she's mad. I've never seen Isty get that mad before. Nappy, you're a genius at pushing her buttons. Uh, really? I mean, when you put it that way, I feel better about it. But isn't this kind of your fault too, Plitty Poo? Huh? I don't get what you mean. Whatever. What do you want to do? We got kicked out and Pisty won't let won't want us back for a while. I want to take another nap. Wait, I know. Let's go see Noir and ask her to let us nap. <laughs> Perfect. That is everything I needed to be. Or it needed to be. Oh, nice thinking. What a way to reverse our punishment into, uh, naps, I guess. And Noir will nap with us, too. It'll be a nap party. Somehow I don't see that happening. Sounds better and better. With that, with that said, let's start moving toward last station. For great naps! For great naps, yay! This is literally so much story. Also, what happened here? Kangaroo! I'm a, I'm a kangaroo. I'm a kangaroo. I'm a kangaroo. And... I'm a monster. I'm, I'm a monster. Let's see. Uh, is there a plan thing? Let me see. Oh, hello. Hello, music. What 
is this? Wait, there's a Neptune event? Oh, let's see what this is. Huh? Ew, my ears are goopy. Hmm, are you okay? You cleaning your ears like a good girl? That sounds so weird of her saying that, considering I know what she is. Uh, actually, I don't think I have since arriving here, because Nep Jr. was my dedicated ear cleaner. That's no good. Only gross girls don't clean their ears. I know. I'll clean them for you right now. Huh? You'd do that, old oh, buddy old pal. Yep. <clears throat> Come on, lie down on my lap with an ear facing me. Oh, uh, oh, uh, what? Um. That's, uh. Oh, Neptune. Th that's, that's, that's not a proper positioning. That, that, no, that is not, young lady. Don't mind if I do. So this is Plutie's lap, huh? It's soft, but flexible and plush. I have my cotton swab ready. Here I come. Don't move. Okay, my body is ready. Tickle, tickle, scrape. Ouch! A plenty. Being gentle with my co co cochlea, co cochlea, 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 Ch Cheech and Chong. <laughs> Oops, I'm so sorry. Does it hurt here? <laughs> ah, it hurts. You're scraping my brain. Um, I'm sorry. Your reaction is just so cute that I can't help myself. Okay, I'm starting to think that she's actually secretly sadistic. You can't help yourself, huh? Plutie, are you feeling sadistic right now by any chance? If you are, I'm at a huge disadvantage in this particular position. Wow, there's a whole lot of gunk inside your head. Hey, can I stick the cotton swab all the way into your ear? Oh, but this is a this is literally a euphemism and a half. No, 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 that's not necessary. I can clean my own ears from now on. Thank you very much. We're already done. Boo, that's so boring. Okay. What? Hello, Eastwar. Oh, plenty of doing no work and just no napping. When you get back, I will not let you in the Basilicom. Okay, so I think to round off this episode, I think we're going to get a friend in here. Uh, thinking mages. Who the hell is mages? It's not enough. Now I get the very distinct... I get the very distinct feeling that there aren't enough Chunibyo folks in my party. This series sells on the fact that we've got charming, diverse girls to battle baddies with. So there's an overwhelming lack of delusional Chin Chunibyo characters? Excluding Iffy. Somebody correct me in the comments how you say that. Like actual pronunciation. Hmm, to give our players what they need, where could I find a silly and delusional girl around here? Ideally, they'd also be mysterious and intelligent. In other words, a magician-type character. But such a convenient person couldn't possibly make an appearance in the next line. Coo 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 coo! <laughs> Great giggles of despair! What was that? And oh! Who are you? Who are you? You look... Oh, oh. You actually look really cool. And not at all scantily clad or anything like that. You actually look really cool. She is ready to do the business. Ooh, I like her. Hmm? Oh, I've never seen her before. Hmm, what voice should I give her? Um... Hmm... What is... Where is this? And now someone appeared! Hello, it's me. A mysterious light enveloped me, and now I am standing in an unfamiliar land. 
It may be the organization's great conspiracy at play. Investigate it quickly, but with great caution. <gasps> ooh! I can... Ooh! I'm, am I going to give her a British accent? Ah, I want to give her a British accent, like a Sherlock Holmes kind of thing. She's literally Sherlock Holmes. What magic? <gasps> no! Doctor Strange! A female Doctor Strange! Uh... Hey! I wish you luck. Look stiv among... Uh... Um... Oh, it's literally backwards. Music, animation, game, event, school? Sh 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 what? That makes no sense. What is that? That doesn't spell school. Lux tnev imag noit tamina sikum sisum. Okay. That, that was a challenge and a half, guys. Phew. Hmm? Who are you? No, don't tell me. I feel this is not our first time meeting. Let's start with names, okay? <laughs> this is actually going to be hard. Ooh, but I really want to give her give, give her a British voice. <clears throat> okay, drink! My name... I see. I shall call myself mages. Mages, huh? <clears throat> no, mages. I see, I see. Mages, huh? I am telling you that it is mages. Magus? Ma Magus? Ma Mags? You're, you forsook. You forsook the period. It is a part of my name, so do not forget to say it. I don't see how it affects the pronunciation, but whatever. Mages it is, then. And you? You are Neptune, yes. Uh-huh, the protagonist of all main characters. The heroine of all things. Neptune! You must understand the situation. I ask that you explain it to me. And I tell her everything. I see I felt our paths had crossed before, but I think that you're the CPU for my world. All is intentional. Still, to think I would transcend dimensions due to my magical science accident for dimensional sliding. D dimensional dimension what hopping science? Do you eat it? How's it taste? To keep the explanation simple, I was experimenting with sim with spells that allow one to travel dimensions. <clears throat> Dimensional travel research? Magicians can do that stuff? I am no mere magician. Ooh, I'm trying to... Uh, I want to give her a, a, a British accent, but I don't want to lay it on thick. Ooh. I am so sorry for all my English viewers, if any. Chosen by fate. I have... I have vast knowledge of not just magic, but science as well. I fuse the two disciplines into one, and then I, the mad magician, can make all things possible. Coo <laughs> That's the laugh. It belongs to the mad magician, of course. Coo <laughs> So, if we use your fancy pants space travel science ma magic, can I get back to my dimension? No, that is impossible. I am in the midst of my research to dimensional transcendence, so the spell is yet incomplete. As I said before, due to an accident during my experimentations, I was sent here by sheer, by sheer happenstance. Were I to reproduce the situation, there is no guarantee we would go back to our original dimension. Got it. I thought we could, but... Uh, Never. Never fear. Magus, the mad magician, will finish researching dimensional slides and return you to your world safely. Coo 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 coo. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. Oh, that is so cool. I like her.
Can I take a look at her? Ooh, can I look at the part? Can I look at her, please? I want to see what she looks. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at her. She looks really, she looks really nice. Magic uniform. I'm definitely putting her in my party. Let's see. I'm gonna put her instead of red. Okay. Everything looks nice. I have Plutia right there. Hmm, it doesn't work quite right. Oh well, we'll figure it out in the next episode. Thank you all so much for watching, guys. I'm sorry that there wasn't enough to do, and it was mostly story stuff. But... Jet set range? What? Wait. Hold on. Where the hell is that station? I don't see it. Oh, more events. Okay. Well, anyways, uh, that's it for this episode, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you uh, enjoyed this episode, even though there wasn't much story to go... Well, there was a lot of story to go into it, but it was more or less just a lot of story and not much action. So, yeah. Yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!